Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is my very first YouTube video on my personal channel. I do have another one, but that one is more dedicated to art. Yes, I'm a painter. <laughs> this is also a very exciting video for me because I usually never film myself in front of the camera, especially that up close. <laughs> oh, please ignore my braces. I know I look like a teenager, but I just didn't want to wait another year to start a YouTube channel. I also have a huge accent. <laughs> I'm a Russian speaker, and if you will have some difficulties understanding me, I can put subtitles in my next videos. Okay, for today's video, we are using only drugstore makeup. A little disclaimer here, I'm not a makeup artist, but since you clicked on this video, I sort of will share with you this look. <laughs> All of the products I will be using, I will put in the description below. And without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start with Vaseline to moisturize my lips. Now I'm going to use eye cream to brighten up my under eyes so that the makeup application is flawless. And then I went ahead and applied primer to moisturize and smooth my skin. I'm taking CoverGirl for my foundation and the beauty sponge. I'm stippling it with round bottom of the sponge to lightly blend the foundation and then of course the neck as well. I'm using a concealer to brighten and highlight the face. I'm taking the beauty blender using a smaller corner of sponge and kind of dabbing it in. For contour, I'm using CoverGirl True Blend and I apply it everywhere I want to contour my face. And I like to contour my lips above and under to give it an illusion of fuller lips. And using a smaller brush, I'm going to contour the tip of the nose just to give it the cute look. Now with the Beauty Blender, I'm blending it all out. And I think for someone who has small lips, it's a really good trick to make them look fuller. Okay, now moving along to our brows. I'm first brushing my hair upwards and I'm using Milani Brow Cream in the shade 2. I just begin to draw in any sparse spaces. And I'm using Brow Tint Pen from Maybelline to give it an extra pushiness. Applying brow sculpting gel to keep them in place. I line my eyebrows with concealer so that they look a lot cleaner and put together. For eyeshadow primer, I'm using primer from Hard Candy. I'm taking the shade number 8 from L'Oreal and this is going to be my base shade. And I'm putting it into my lower eyelids as well. I'm taking a darker shade from Maybelline, the Nudes palette, and I'm putting it into my outer corners to create some depths. I'm gonna put a thin layer on the lids, a shadow lighting from Rimmel London, one side is champagne cream and the other is bronze. Now I'm blending it out and diffusing it. For the inner corner eyeshadow, I'm using Physicians Formula in the lightest shade. The setting spray makes it more intense and prevents fallouts. And for the topper, I'm using Champagne color for the shimmer, and I'm mixing another two shades to blend it with the outer corner. I'm taking the liner from Revlon. I really like this applicator. It's hard to mess up with this applicator because it makes it so easy to apply the liner. And I'm going to be drawing the line towards the tear dust area in the inner corner and overextending it to create that kind of cat eye look. Next, I'm taking a pencil and put it into my waterline to color that in as well and it really makes the look to pop more. Curling my eyelashes. I'm using a Maybelline mascara. I love it. I'm so glad that they are still making them. It has been my all-time favorite mascara. It has a perfect dividing brush and some extra lashes inside of it. For the highlighter, I use a champagne color from L'Oreal palette to give me an extra glow. 
For the blush, I'm using a bronze shade to put on my outer cheeks and the warm pink shade on my cheeks. To set my bronzer, I'm using a blush as well. For lips, I'm using a pencil from Milani to line my lips and now that we're ready for the lips, I took the moisturizer off and then to give it a more natural look, I mix it with a pencil from NYX in the shade Nude. For the gloss, I'm using Revlon in the shade Supernatural, it has a really nice formula and it puts it all together. Now that the look is almost complete, it's time to throw some eyelashes on. To set my concealer, I'm taking the No Color Translucent Powder from L'Oreal. And we are done! For someone who has no idea what they're doing, I think it came out pretty good. <laughs> So here you have it, you guys. This is how I create my signature look. And if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And I hope I will see you next time. Bye-bye.